Really not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. The pitch. That one drilled left field. This one's got a chance. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Back-to-back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, bro. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. <sighs> Left hand batter waits. Hold hard, but it's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab, and that is that. Bottom of the first. Now batting key Brian Hayes. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's Ben Gamble. Oh, three pitches, down, down, fastball up, swinging, boog. It's like learning the court progression, getting those strums right, man. So many pitchers prefer working north-south these days compared to the east-west, and that was a great example right there. Right into the play. Fought off foul. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one two. Tap to first, and he grabs it in foul ground. Left hand hitter waits. Cut on and miss. Yes. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Brian Reynolds here. The right hander back to work. Pitch is in there, and it's a one one. Two as he waves at that one. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. The big right, he strikes out the side. Back here in Pittsburgh, top of the second. Now Molina at the plate. The catcher, Yadier. And a pitch. Out front and foul to the left side. Thompson, he's one of those guys who uses the cut fastball as his primary offering, and when it's on, it can induce a lot of weak contact. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And the late movement on the cutter is really what makes it so effective because as a hitter, you make a decision whether you're going to swing or take a pitch before it actually gets into the zone. So that late movement causes it to miss the barrel of the bat, sometimes miss the bat entirely. At the belt, the fire. Stays alive. Uh, Tell fans a little bit about the difference between a cutter and a slider. Well, a cutter looks more like a fastball, but it has that late movement like a slider that's hard to pick up. Now, with the slider, it's a little slower, the spin is different, and sometimes you can recognize that. And it tends to break a lot more horizontally and vertically than the cutter. That one ripped. Takes it in for the out. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. The pitch. And a foul ball. And he'll one. And a big swing and a miss. Pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners.
In the air, left field. Off, gets under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. This is Dylan Carlson. The right fielder, number three. Dylan Carlson. And he deals. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. That one fouled off. Next off is foul back. Two outs. And that one. Oh, my gosh. Pitch stays alive. And here it comes. Well struck right field. That one carry. Calls it in on the warning track. Nothing to do. Bottom of the second at the plate for Pittsburgh. Daniel Vogel back. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One out. And now Anthony in there for strike one. Rolled over to third. Over to Goldie. Already two out here in the whole half of inning number two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him look a little better out there on the mound. I mean, he is just blowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. Down and over. And welcome back onto the third inning. Tommy Edmond at the plate. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. That one pulled foul. Kicks and deals. Line drive, base hit right for you. No, I could have made it a second. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Now it's going to be Edmundo Sosa. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. This one popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one away. So that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until this next at bat. Thompson back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Edmund, the base runner at first with one out. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. Next offering is foul back. And the righty deals. Runner on the go again. That one ripped left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Throw is low, and he can't hang on safe. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. Probably needs a second to catch his breath. 
The pitcher's his friend. He'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. And the 1-0. -on -one. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Popped in the air. Left field. Off makes the catch. And that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Chavis now. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs no looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Jack Sawinski watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The 0-2. A foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0 2. Stays alive. A wide in the pitch. The punch out there. Back to back strikeouts. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Roberto Perez stand again. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Three up, three down. Back here at PNC Park. Out of the fourth. Now up for St. Louis. Tyler O'Neill. Pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. See a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Left hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Line drive. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. A nice running catch. Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Next up for the Cardinals. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Gone, a home run. A towering home run, and they add to the lead. It's five zip. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. And now it's going to be Harrison Bader. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And the pitch in the air, out towards left center, two away. Dylan Carlson 
will hit next. He's on four. The right-hander back to work. That one ripped. Gamble makes the catch, and that'll do it. The right-hander back to work. And there's the strike. Slap foul. Got him looking. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. The Pirates hitless so far in the game. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two out. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, he become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Anthony Buck, big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about metal innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Safe in second with a leadoff double. The pitch. That's a late. Sir, base hit and coming home. One run is in. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he's in safely at third as a run scores. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. Good contact guy, good defender. The pitch. Ripped to third. And a base hit knocks in a run. That's now three mm. for the offense. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. No way. This one hammered, but it's foul. Oh, He's got one ready tonight. I wouldn't be surprised one if he another one away here. from the foul pole. Here comes a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles. Now. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Foul ball. Kicks and fires. And there's a foul ball. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. On the ground to the left. And he picks it up in foul territory. Uh, got to load these bases. And a foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Golden, the lead runner out at second. Arenado on at first with nobody out. Stays alive. Ah. And now the lefty. And a foul ball.
Yeah, oh, no, just hit right. a ball. Hit a fair ball. Swing a base hit. I have to leave for school in 10 minutes. Deal two. Deal two. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Back there. And yeah, yeah. yeah. He's putting on quite the show of the dish here. He's just so locked in with his swing. And he's just not missing right now. Three homer game and so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun to watch him. Oh, no. Wayne Underwood Jr. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch. So he'll try to keep it where it is. And a pitch. Up the middle. What is this team trailing by one? Give me ten. Where am I blocked? Yeah, I know I just got a three run home run, so it can't be Danny only Davies. one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. But the big blow in, it comes right here. Well, you know what we're going to do so I can play this? Full game. We had to what simulate to the seventh? And a pitch. And foul off. Right into the play. Now to short, Cruz handles the chance, and he's he safe. Great try, though. Definitely a tough play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. With the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect, and right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. To second, that's one. Out there, but that's all they'll get. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. The pitch. Bop. In the air, left side. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Two on with one out, and now Bader up to the plate. The automatic double took that decision out of the hands of the third. This one squared up, down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Harrison Bader hits one out. His first homer of the year, and they tacked on three. It's 14-1. The left-hander on now, Sam Howard. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against the oh. is he hides the ball for a long time. But from that same side, harder for you to determine which going to end up on. And that one hammered. That's carrying. Turning, looking, and that Oh, wow. I thought that was, I thought he was going to catch that. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 15 yards. Here's the speed threat. <sighs> Switch hitter batting. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to No way. Oh, no way. Single shy of the cycle? What? And here it comes. Get that single. Still only one out here in the inning. Let's get the single for the cycle. Boom! Come on. Run. Run. Taking it. That's it. Out. New pitcher on here. Aaron he only got six pitches. In this situation with his team down big. That first offering is fouled off. Line drive. Pulls it in on the run. And that is the back. Okay, now I have to leave in five minutes. So let's simulate to the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And step 
stepping in for the Cardinals, Harrison Bates. Rip, but a Cardinals foul. Kick, Sandy. That one foul ball. Oh, and two now. Turned on, but foul. Nah. Line drive, base hit. Line drive, base hit. I'm sure he feels really good about that. Nice line drive to the whole side, headed out front, just sticking <sighs> nice and it into the outfield. This is Dylan Carlson. This is Dylan Carlson. Bader gets his lead at first, nobody out. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Reynolds, ranging to his right, and there's one down. So the batting order turns over. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Fletcher back to work. Bader runs. Strike in there. Tag safe in second. Yes. Singing, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. The run comes in from second, and they extend their lead. He's got the cycle in the third with a triple. Wait, he got the cycle? And now, Edmundo Sosa. Come on. Ah! Dang it. He's headed a run into score. Now he has a cycle. One of the rarest feats in baseball and history made here today. Huge congrats to him. And we maybe only see this. Grab a Tommy Edmund finish the cycle first. Hot bat, a little bit of luck, and of course, a lot of talent. Especially be a part of it, even as broadcasters up here in the group. Okay, just wow. Just wow. I'm winning by 20 runs. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. <gasps> Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left. Wait, I'm sick. Okay, I got two minutes. I got two minutes. Makes the play, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. The right hander back to work. Oh, now this oh my gosh. To left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Tyler O'Neill sends it out. They tack on to their lead. It's 22 to 1. New pitcher on now, Chris Stratton. The audience will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great group. You'll win. On the ground, right side. Oh my gosh. I thought he said that he, he has a great curveball. I crushed his curveball. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt, the fires. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a base hit. Oh, my gosh. I thought this picture was good. Two on and two out. 
So far, he's given up two at bats and two hits. Here comes a pitch. He swings a Come on, Beta, you could have crushed that. Two on, two outs. Swing and a ball left in the field. The ball settles under this one. Time to end it. And that's the third out. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around five scores. <laughs> Okay. And Michael Chavis will be the first pitch. He just misses. Ah. This is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big time power. Next offering is foul back. So the foul ball makes it one and two. Just one out away. Try to close it out. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.